Voters flee as explosion rocks about polling units. Voters and electoral officials fled in different directions when explosion rocked the polling units at Umola Hall, Ward 8, Ogbo Hill, Abanot local government area of Abia State on Saturday. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is currently conducting a by-election in Aba North, Aba South Federal Constituency, OC Prestige, the lawmaker who represented the constituency at the House of Representatives, died on February 6th and his seat was declared vacant. Ahead of the by-election, top politicians in the area had engaged in a hearted argument. They had accused one another of plotting to instigate violence during the exercise. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. My dear viewers, something must somehow be behind the explosion. It can't just be a natural explosion. I am telling you, it's not a natural explosion. Something is behind it. And it will really go well if they go out and make a proper finding. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is one of the very big problems we are having in Nigeria during election. One or two things must surely happen. Nigeria has a very big problem when it comes to election. And it centers on decision making. Decision making. Whereby the other party is seeing the other party to be a threat. The other party is seeing the other party to be a threat and all of that. Can you imagine? So, that is why, till date, we are still having problems upon problems when it comes to electing a credible and eligible leader in Nigeria. I have never seen an election in Nigeria conducted peacefully. That is the humble truth. Go and check your findings, make your findings. Look at the election conducted and the governorship election that was conducted in Benin, where we have Godwin Obaseki and um, Ize Iyamo. You all saw everything now and what happened. You all saw the violence. You also the the way things were. You all saw it. In fact, if not for the intervention, if not for the intervention of American government, that Benin uh, Edo election wouldn't have concluded peacefully, I bet you. It would have ended with violence. It would have ended with violence because the people to cause the violence has already been deployed and they are already, they have already shown ready to cause the violence. You see that? Thank God 
for the immediate intervention. And the moment American government intervened, those criminals in Agbada that deployed the talks to cause the violence immediately requested that they should be they should withdraw. You see that? That is why I was telling people that stop blaming the youth. The people to blame are the Nigerian government because our leaders, those people in Asuvila, those people in the aims of affairs, they are the ones to be blamed because they are the ones making use of these guys and know these guys using themselves. They call them, they entice them with, with reasonable amount of money, they make promises, unbelievable promises to them that makes them want to commit a crime to get th those things from, from those politicians. Didn't you listen to Sunday Igbo speak? He said it that of a truth he worked for these politicians. And the work he did for them is a bloody work. And he wouldn't want to continue with it. He said that of a truth that they made him what he is today. He confessed. So because he doesn't fancy the kind of work he's doing for them, that is why he has redrawn. He said he has gotten all the money he needed from them. So he has quitted. He doesn't want to continue working, doing the work of the, uh, or, or, or a devilish work. You see that? This is a talk. People that they call it, the, the, the person they call it talk. The, the, this is what he's saying. You see, he even knows that the work they are using him to do is a devilish work. So, because of that, he has made up his mind never to have anything to do with them. That they should go with their bloody fucking work. With their bloody fucking work that is not ready to kill anymore. He has made up his mind. He has is redrawing. You see that? So, what are we saying? So, and that's why I've said it, that we are the cause of the many problems that we are having. We are the cause. We are the cause. So, let us not give in to this trick, my viewers. Let's say no to this. Alright? So, what's your take on this? Give me free to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button is to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.